Get on folks, just about to go for a quick wild camp, Cornish coast, a beach that's a few miles from my house, it's not a lovely sandy beach, they're quite pebbly, I've tried putting a tarp up on it before, as none of it at all, I've, everything sinks, the longest it pulls, doesn't matter what, so I just bought me a Dutch army hoop bivvy, not supposed to rain tonight. I think it's supposed to be waterproof anyway, but I've been in it before when it's rained quite a bit in my down bag uh, last year. And it was quite clammy inside. So I did have the dog in the, in the bit where the hoop is. So both of our uh, breathing obviously didn't help, but yeah, my me, me down bag ended up a bit like a sponge, to be honest. Quite clammy. Right, so on the local cliffs, brought a few bits of old gear, stuff I'd like to use bush, for bushcraft if I could, but I just don't get, seem to get the opportunity. There's not places I know round here that I can go to that I know of anyway. There's probably a spot, but I don't know about them. In my local wood, where I've had a few little dabbles, you've got people within a stone's throw of you, you can't do any filming. It has to be very stealth camp. I'm really speaking, I've only done that in the winter, so by the time I get there of an evening, it's already dark. I want to leave in the morning. It's still quite dark, so it's not really much fun when you've got to... Well, you haven't got much time to yourself, have you? You've got to get in there as quick as possible, get out as quick as possible. Yeah, you come out to enjoy things. Right, uh, anyway, enough of me babbling. Load of crap. I don't know how good this light is. Gonna fix it away. Around to the island. Ah, uh, there's Lew Island. It has been on time team before, as well as something up top here that was related to it. Yeah, if you look it up, you'll probably find it on the old time teams. Something to do with the Saints or something like that on the island. You can walk out to it at certain times of year, obviously at the lowest of lowest of tides. And you can go over it and visit it, but when you go over it and visit it, you're not allowed to walk around it. I think you're literally on. Where are we? Get me your finger. That little beach there. A day trip to that. Well, a boat trip, should I say. Chances are, it's not cheap either. Right, anyway. Back to my camp. Fingers crossed. Everything will be alright tonight. No bad weather. But I already looked at the weather forecast. We're not supposed to have any rain at all. But I am in Cornwall. I don't believe them. But I've brought a few creature comforts with me. Some people will probably call it glamping, not camping. I've brought, well, I won't say yet. I'll bring us back when I've set up camp and you'll see the two bits I've got just to chill out with. All right, take care, folks. I'll get back to you. Steph's leading down to my local beach local-ish. Right, look where I'm going. So I've done this before. And up on my backside, too busy looking at the view. I'm on my nose, stop. Yeah, I'm not gonna enjoy coming back up these. About nine o'clock in the morning. Maybe a bit earlier, actually. Chances are I'll get woke up by people walking the dogs. Although I have camped here before, a couple of times with my mate a few years back. I never had any bother. And I was in the middle of the summer. Like I say, not sandy and nice. That's like, it's like fine gravel. You get a lot of sand fleas on here as well. So that's why I've brought the Dutch hooped bivy. Not me British Army Gore-Tex one, because at least now I can close myself up. 
but actually not fully though because uh, I've got a bit of a problem with the net on it at the minute it's coming away ever so slightly so I need to get that fixed I did contact another YouTuber uh, Sandy from uh, Jack, Law, Jack Law Knives Wilkshire man yeah, he's, he's got the hoop bivvy well, a lot of people have I watched uh, Stu from was a Scottish Wanderer? I think a Scottish Wanderer. Yeah, he bought one not, not so long ago as well. He's loving it. I don't really get to use it as much as I'd like, to be honest. It's not the lightest either. I've got lighter stuff. Right. A lot of seaweed. It's going to smell quite a bit. Well, that's up quite high, that. I've never known it's hard to come up this high. Oh. Right. You might no nope, you, you might get a video getting back to you in the middle of the night. Of me getting half washed away. Yeah, it's right the way up there, that's where I usually chill out. Oh, that's a bit uh, that's a bit scary. Right, there's only one way of finding out. And no one else here. I'm gonna set up camp. Yeah, I'm here now anyway. I'll get back to you folks, bye. Right, get on people. Set up. It's actually easier than I thought. Because these pegs here are the ones that come with the Lux Hex Peak. And these are actually pretty, pretty decent for the ground here. Here, even, with my strong accent. Here. Well... They're doing a decent enough job compared to the normal packs they have. Otherwise, you usually have to pin them down with big stones, which isn't isn't the best. Although well, you can't get away from the stones. I managed to get a load inside the bivvy before I got anything else in, so I've had to actually wrap my sleeping mat around one of the waterproofs. Lucky I brought two. One underneath. I've got the carry mat there because that goes into a special little sleeve that comes with all stitched in in the Dutch army bivvy. So that'll stay in place. But I've had to, like I said, I've had to do my sleeping mat around this because them little stones are like like razor blades. Although to be honest, it's, it's not my theme arrest. It's not my my X theme, my Neo uh, X theme. That just isn't compatible at all with the Dutch Army. Sorry, some catching my attention over there. Oh, cormorants. Oh, I'm, I'm not a wildlife expert. Expert. There's no point in me getting it on there for you anyway. You wouldn't. You wouldn't make it out. Anyway, let's get back to what we're doing. So yeah, uh, the Neo X theme just doesn't work with this because with me being a side sleeper pushes me right up next to it and if you've got a down bag especially compresses all the down so but the, anyway this isn't a down bag this is my summer bag so I'm taking a bit of a risk here this was given to me and it hadn't even been used not even brought out the bag it was given to me last summer but I've got that also mummy liner I've got my down jacket in there with, with an, uh, well, yeah, an extra layer as well. So if I do get cold in a night, at least I'll be able to sort them out, which this comes with me anyway. Everywhere to go. Emergency bivvy. But really speaking, this should be doing more than what I need. And good thing about this, it's got a little compartment to fit your pillow in. So it doesn't move about, in theory. And let's keep my first aid kit in there as well. There's no point in clambering for it in the middle of the night if I need it. It might look a wee bit big, but there's all sorts in there. It's not just a first aid kit. There's a few other bits and bobs as well. I might as well take you through that while I'm here. Toothpaste. Travel toothbrush.
glow stick, night stick, whatever you want to call it. Hand sanitizer. We've got two keys in there. We've got a spare clipper lighter, just a small pad and a pen. A BCB fire steel and striker. Make sure I've got plenty of combustion with me. And here is just your normal stuff they'd expect. Yeah, you can read that. Don't have to explain everything to you. Like I say, it's not just a first aid kit, it's just like a bit of both really. Fire dragon, at least they can get a hot meal or if I need to get a fire on the go, as we know, they go straight up, they're blinding. Um, water fuel purification tablets will be in here somewhere as well. We've got we've got wipes, which, yeah, alcohol wipes, two of them. Small deodorant. And here is my BCB sewing kit. Which also, if I remember rightly, I think my multi tools in here as well. I'm trying to do this one handed. Yeah, there you go. It used to have a little pair of its own scissors in there with it as well, but they were they were next to useless, just taking up space and basically weight. I've got scissors on my key ring that I have with me on my EDC, so I don't really need that. I'm trying to zip this back up with one hand, it's not having it. Right, let's do this. Now I know why people have all these fancy tripods and stuff, you bloody need them. So yeah, more wipes, wound pads, big old bandage, and there's just your plasters, ibuprofen, hay fever tablets, there's also paracetamol in there and some disposable gloves, uh, waterproof matches, and what else is it? Ah, yeah, yeah like I said, the water pu purification tablets. So it's not just one massive, stupid first aid kit, it's a bit of both. But anyway, I'm not just camping this evening, I am glamping. People will probably turn off as soon as they see this, what the hell? But I'm going to sit there and I'm going to enjoy that. Oh come on. That's a new chair anyway, this is the first time it's been used out. Obviously I set it up in my house when I first got it. 14.99 on eBay. Weighs less than a kilo. I think it was about 800 and some, something grams, I think. And Tom, there you go, mate. Check that out. Yeah, there won't be no side review because I actually don't drink at all. That's just been in my fridge for ages. The people who know me, I'll be watching this thinking, what the hell's he doing with that? So yeah, best drinker before it goes out of date, and I won't be doing a review on it because I've got nothing to compare it to, because as I say, I don't drink teetotal. I generally don't like the flavour, so you'll probably see me pulling some extremely funny faces when I drink that. Because, yeah, cider, champagne, wine, they all taste the same to me, like fizzy piss. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, we're having a go with that. Sat on my nice new chair. Uh, got plenty of munchies with me. A couple of them. I'll have one this, this evening and one tonight. Got to go with me brews as well. Oh, look at that. Get your laughing gear around them. Well, no, I'll be getting my laughing gear around them. Mm. But I brought a few different things with me. BCB Crusader 2 cook set. I haven't used that in a while, so I thought to get that out with me. And obviously, stick table. I haven't actually, I've only used that once, and that was proper car camping with my brother in uh, January of this year. That was glamping. But I've here, I'm coming here to chill out. It's not a staff camp, and I need to test out this chair, see if it's any cop. Uh, there's a uh, pack that I used, carry more, oh, nah, can't beat it really but 
with me being tall it's not the best for me back on long distance distances that's why i bought that the montane grand tour 70 that that's a hell of a lot better for my back but yeah i'd take this uh, most places of a could because obviously they're bomb proof aren't they but they're not the lightest and uh, Obviously the camo, unless you know you're you're in the woods and stuff, I think people give you a bit of a funny look. Like when I was walking along the cliffs to come to the the camp where I am, I had two lads give me a bit of a hey. It's because you got something camo, mate. Chill out, chill out, people. I mean, I'm not Rambo. Just that this kit works. It's tried and tested. It's good enough for the forces, and it's good enough for me. Yeah, respect. Uh, Spare pair of cacks and waterproof jackets. Just wearing my Gore-Tex pants over my shorts. It was nice enough to wear shorts all day. My cargo shorts, they're fairly thick, so... Well, that'll take you a wee bit back. Yeah, it's not exactly stealth camping, is it? But I've come for a chill out. Right. Anyway, folks, I am gonna get a brew on the go with the Crusader 2. I haven't used it in a while. Light's fading a bit, so I don't know how this is coming out for you, folks. Hopefully, it won't be too bad. Well, there'll be torches and stuff out soon, anyway. Alright, take care, bye. Alright, it's just about to make a brew. It's the first time I've used this system in quite a while, but. I brought this with it. This is the mess burner from the Storm and Cone system. I've tried this before, lighting it with a ferrocene rod off my neck knife the last time I was up the moors, and it took me absolutely ages and ages. I like to get the practice in because obviously I don't use a fire steel that often, but every now and again. There's nothing wrong with cheating. There she goes. Oh, black crap all over the bottom of my hands already. Water litre with me. Oh, some. I oh, want some free floaties. What the hell's half of this? Yeah. Oh well. That's actually no. It's only a little bit of fluff. That's all there is. I'm okay with that. I don't think it'll kill me. Famous last words. Keep this a bit brighter. There you go. Yeah, the light that's on my phone for filming isn't the brightest, so... Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, it's been a while since I've used this system. Had it cheap and cheerful, lid made. No matter how much you search, I can never find the, the heavyweight lids that you can get to fit them. I don't want one of the plastic ones, so I'm not interested. At the end of the day, plastic near heat uh, makes no bloody sense to me. It's the first time I've used this burner with this, so it'll be interesting to see how it gets on. But anyway, turbo lighter. Had problems with it when I first bought it. You can't put normal gas in it, it has to be extra purified. And even then, you have to empty every single bit of air and gas till you hear nothing escaping from, from it. And put this. this extra pure stuff in but you have to turn the maximum up as far as it'll go and then it still didn't work so I watched a video on YouTube and a fella told me to take this cap off and turn it that little bit extra which I did which thankfully now I'll watch this it probably won't nice oh sweet so you can't see it anyway can you Yeah, I had it for years and I wasn't dumping it. I thought, no, I'm not dumping it. 
after watching Funky Prepper say about the extra purified gas and then I watched a few videos of dudes telling you how to fix it. Yeah, I'm chuffed at that. How well, quickly did it get that mess burner alight? Yeah, so, BCB, Crusader 2. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a bloody good while. Through a clock, not quite side of a clock. But the amount of dust you get round here is unreal. What the hell? I've got some foreign bodies. Well, it's fair to say that my brew's gonna have a bit of body with it. Creature comforts have even brought sugar rather than crappy little sachets. I could have used my new lightweight system that I shown on my last video, but that is literally for when I go walking next. This is a bit cut, so I want to run a bit. Really speaking, I didn't have didn't have anything to to store milk in safely. Didn't want to risk it, so it's, it's still powdered milk, unfortunately. But what can you do? Right, get this up your face. Mm. Oh. It's not a bad, it's not a bad evening at all. It's nice and mild. Mm. Let's see if we get any wildlife. You never know. Not too sure if you got foxes and stuff like that. I'd imagine so. Then the day, that's what they do. Scavenge along the shorelines and stuff like that. I've got my dog with me to tell me if anything's coming. Usually uh, he's my early warning system. But I feel fairly safe. Fairly. Mm. I'm in the countryside. Not in the inner cities or anything. People seem to think when you come out. Stealth camp, well, stealth camp and wild camping. That it's, it's dangerous. I suppose it is to a certain extent, but I feel much safer here. I've just heard something weird then. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't take long, did it? You see my face then? I probably just went. Right. I've got a torch on myself showing off my exact position. Here's someone. Yeah, I started a young couple on the beach. I think I've kind of pissed on their bonfire. Not literally, but further on from my camp. It looks like there was a bit of something set up for that campfire. But they had fuck all on them, so... Really speaking, I don't think I've disappointed them, although the faces did look disappointed, but I don't really expect them to do with the fire. Well, someone set up a little something inside some rocks, but there's nothing there to burn apart from a couple of twigs. And like I said, they had no logs or anything on them. And that's what I heard coming down the steps. It's good as shit out of me. I won't, <laughs> I won't lie. Yeah. But I am quite close to civilization, so I should have been expecting it, really. Well, I'll go and show you anyway what they were, what they were doing. Well, what they were planning on doing. I don't know what they were planning on doing. <laughs> Young lovers on a beach. Mm. Some fucking fella there with a the scouse accent. Making a brew the weirdo. We were hoping on having some lucky by a fire. Yeah, unlucky dude. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Well, they don't practice leave no choice round here, do they? So I've got no choice but to take this shit back with me when I leave in the morning, because people might think, think it's me.
unfortunately. Sounds a horrible thing to say, you kind of get used to it, which isn't a good thing, obviously. The last time I was up here, the local youth had a, had a bonfire, but at the end of the night, chucked their big, chunky bottle of scrumpy, well, empty bottle of scrumpy on top of it, and obviously that had exploded, and it's really thick, like cask bottle type style thing, really big chunks of shards of glass, very thick as well. I was picking most of them up. I took back as much as I could with me. And at the end of the day, people camping here. My dog goes on here. But these are locals as well, you know what I mean? Don't, don't shit on your own doorstep. Don't, go, don't shit on other people's doorsteps either, you know what I mean? Case of upbringing. Rant over. Oh, what were you going? Got a light in my face. I can't see out. Yeah, very still, calm night. Well, I'm gonna get back to me brew. Wait and see if I got any any more local youngsters. You never know. Fingers crossed. No. No. Take care, folks. Bye. I right, did a bit of beach combing. Got myself a few bits. That was already set up, ready to go. Anyway, it's been used before. Unfortunately, the people who've used it before left rubbish and crap, as you've seen. But yeah, a bit of beach combing, some wood there. Should have got me a bit of a fire for a wee bit. Might as well. I was relying on a bit of pallet washed up, aren't you? Yeah, uh, I only got about a third of the way up the beach, and this is what I've collected. Didn't really want to go any further because there's uh, there's actually people further on. I didn't get near enough, so you know, I didn't want to disturb them. So I got it was a people from before. But anyway, kind of got a fire on the go. Chuck a fire dragon on there. See how far it gets. Because I'm not too sure how this wood's going to burn. Some of it is a wee bit damp, but fire dragons generally burn anything. Let's have a go. Bits that are now that weigh nothing can go straight on. Yeah, there you go.
gonna start somewhere. I bought me that bad dog with me, so <coughs> excuse me, I don't know if you can hear me. <coughs> Smoke on my chest, so. Yeah, I haven't bought my last lander with me, so I can't really sort it, so that'll do. Fish. Do nicely. Can't beat it. Fire dragon, can you? Yeah, lazy man bushcraft. That's not even bushcraft, is it? Well, I can call it trapping, wouldn't it? But yeah, that'll do me. Quick, and simple. And I've got a fire. It's not that I needed it, but. Nice as well. Nice little fire going. Nice. It's on, buddy. I think it's time. Where are we? Yeah. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not going to lie. Nice. I'll set you down. Oh. Someone will tell me I haven't even got the right opener. I think that is it. Might well, smell that as soon as you open it. So, cheers, bud. Okay, you know what I mean? It's it's fruity, but I say I don't drink. I just don't enjoy the taste of alcohol, really. Yeah. Mm. If it's ice cold, it'd be okay. I reckon three of them, I'd be puking acid. Yeah, when I was setting up the fire, I don't think the audio was too good. Uh, I really need to sort these things out, but money, money, money. Uh, car MOT, 14th of this month, 14th of April. And before that, anyway, my car had already cost me uh, just over 430 quid, anyway. Uh, yay. And God knows what it's going to cost me on me on me MOT. But you need a car where I live, it's very rural. If you haven't got one, you're fairly much screwed. Yeah, so these things you've got to pay for. Oh well. Oh god. It tasted worse. There was a lot of ice. That'd be fairly banging, though. I tasted the non-alcoholic one and that was very refreshing so I thought, ah, oh, I'll give the, I'll give the alcoholic one a bang. I bought two bottles of it, I drank one and that was ages ago, this has been stuck in my fridge since. Fuck, what the bloody, what the dice? 
Oh, we're okay until December. Yeah, so we're okay. I want I want off the um, you know the advocates in the morning and drink them bad brew, bad cider. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to my fire and my funky tasting concoction. Mm. It's okay. I won't be doing all of that. As I've said in a previous video, that's a lot of hot chocolate. Half a litre of a shock before bedtime, it's not a good idea that. Hell no. I won't be doing all of that. As I've said in a previous video, that's a lot of hot chocolate. Half a litre of a shock before bedtime, it's not a good idea that. Hell no. Mm. I'm not too sure what to do about all of this vid. I imagine there's a lot of it. Hmm, they split it into two bits, I don't know, do you do, do a part one and two? It's all in one night. Anyway, this will probably be my last recording before bedtime, wait and see. Morning, most a bad night's sleep. The sun was beaming down. As soon as I start filming, the sun's gone in. Sounds a lot. Put my socks on the outside of my rucksack. Ooh. Excuse me. Is that at least now they're nice and warm? Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, brew time. Got me scrawny chicken legs out. Shorts on. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't a bad night at all. It was actually very uneventful. You could hear the little sand fleas. 
hitting the outside of the Gore-Tex, it was funny. At first I thought it was raining, a little d -d -d. Oh, Put my hand out, no rain. Little sand fleas. D -d -d. Weird little creatures. Oh, oh it's not nice. Oh. Well, I think you know what time it is. Three o'clock. Too bad. Go get in. Nice. Right, I'm gonna get up. I'm not pee. I'm gonna make a kick ass, bro. <laughs> what? I have to bring me beer comb. I'm a bit rough and ready. But I've got to walk far to the car. Ooh, a couple of miles. That's it. That's why I deal. But, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the vid. A bit random. It's the camp on my local beach. We just try and get out to Dartmoor soon. But I'm a bit scared of the fact of my dodgy map reading skills. Until my car's fixed and stuff, I won't have money to pay for any of that business. God, this shoe doesn't want to go on. Yeah, so hopefully, fingers crossed. Finally get, get to bloody Dartmoor, do some of the real stuff. Oh, that's one I do it. Right, well, cheers, folks. Thanks very much for having me. And I'll, uh, I'll love you and leave you. Take care, bye. Oh, yeah. All right, leave no trace. I was already there, so I'll leave that as it was. I've took all the rubbish that was here. Right. Now, well, that's just a quick bar camp. Hoop Bibby. Inspired by the few videos I've watched over the past few weeks. Hoop Bibby Wild Camper. Uh, Sandy Wilkshire man and a uh, stew from I'm not saying a Scottish wanderer. I just forgot the names. Right well folks. Yet again, take care. Thanks for having me.